right, so this is uh this video is gonna be a little the, the quality of the sound may be a little bad just because I'm doing a, vo a voice recording. Um, I don't have my cell phone stand at work. Uh, when my truck broke down, or at least the last truck that I was in broke down, and the transmission fell out of the truck, I was uh I left my cell phone stand in there. So until I buy another one, uh. I may be making, when I make videos at work, this is going to have, have to do with voice recording through my headset um, because I can't hold my phone, obviously, while driving. That would, you know, be career suicide. But anyways, uh, here's the thing, man. This is something that's, that's strong on my mind um, that I feel, I got to stop saying, um, that's so irritating. That's poor speech. It means you're running out of words. You don't have a, a strong enough vocabulary to keep up a conversation. So you say things like, um, uh, well, uh, shit like that to pass the time so that your brain can come up with something to say. So I don't want to keep saying, um, if I keep saying, um, call me on it, um, um, you know what I mean? But whatever. Um, <laughs> there it is. So, like, my thing is this, man, the number one rule in trucking, the number one rule in trucking, the number one rule as a commercial truck driver in the United States of America. Number one rule, stay in your lane and this of course isn't a factual number one rule this is my opinion strictly my opinion based off of my beliefs off of my emotions based off of my headspace as of this date uh right now stay in your lane okay here's what i believe i believe in trucking we have too many people who are worried about too many other people who have nothing to do with their situation or the outcome of it I believe we have too many people in trucking who care so much about what people think of them, who care so much about how people view them as far as their success, that they now have to compare their situation to everyone around, everyone around theirs, which is why you have the constant argument of OTR versus local, or who makes the most, OTR versus local, who gets the most quality time. You know what I'm saying? Which company is better? Oh, I believe that Prime is better than, uh, what's another refrigerated company? Um, National Carriers. I think that Prime is better than them. Or if I'm an owner, I, I think that Landstar is better than Mercer. You know what I'm saying? I think that Travel Loco is better than Great Wide. All these comparisons, all this back and forth shit that you see on YouTube, that you see on social media, on Facebook, with all these trucking groups like uh, Black CDL Holders, All Truckers United, CDL for Life, all this could be prevented if people just stayed in their lane. It's one of the oldest sayings that you'll hear from the hood anyways. If people, why are we so caught up? And everybody else. Do you not know that most of us in trucking came from nothing? Meaning that our parents didn't leave us money at 18. We were born into poverty. We were born into middle class. We didn't. We won't set up with a silver spoon in our mouths. Some of us didn't even have parents. Some of us only had one. Some of us didn't have any. Some of us were raised by our grandparents. Some of us was raised by uncles, aunts, cousins, or somebody who was just kind enough to keep us out of the system. So that we, we, you know what I'm saying, we wouldn't start off that much worse than what we already did. So if we are CDL holders now, it means that we have, through everything that we have been through, through all the family issues, financial issues, whatever you may have went through before you got your CDL, we have made it. We are here. We have arrived. We have the opportunity to change everything that we know. But yet we are so caught up. And what the next motherfucking truck driver is doing, that we waste our time bickering over the stupidest arguments I've ever heard in my life. Oh, I make 75000 and you make 60000 Ha ha. I'm better than you. Man, if you don't get the fuck out my face, I was raised on $5 an hour. You think I give a fuck about your $75,000? And this is just me speaking, you know, you know, this isn't, you know, I don't know anybody who makes 75. I'm just using it as an example. But really, people, have we really, like, that's why I really had to take a break from YouTube, man, because I had to sit back and I had to really realize what's important in life, what I am out here for. 
What is my goal? What, what am I trying to achieve? And I promise you, my, my, my goal and what I'm trying to achieve is not a, a dick swinging contest with the truck driver who, who, who works for XYZ. The, 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 the driver who, who, who makes a hundred more dollars than me on a weekly basis. So he feel I could give a fuck. I, I, I promise you, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. Company drivers arguing over which company is better. You work for somebody else. You are sitting here defending another man's company that you have no stock in. Once you quit, that's it. And you are defending that company as if you are sleeping with the CEO himself or herself. Like, yo, we have got to, like, man, like, life is too short, man. Enjoy your life. Make the best out of your life. The only time you should be worried about somebody else's life is if that's your, your, your seed or your significant other. Besides that, all this shit getting caught up in what the next man doing, yo, we got to chill with that. We really do, especially in trucking. Because with this CDL, we all eat. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. We eat. Because we're doing better than what we were doing yesterday. Period. And we have set ourselves up for a better tomorrow. Period. So anybody who want to come up here with all this, oh, well, I do this, so I'm better. Or I do this, or I do that. This is what I, I, hey, man, you can miss me with that shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm happy where I'm at. I'm good where I'm at. I got goals. I got plans. I got places that I want to be. I got places that I'm going to get in my due time. When it's my time to shine, when it's my time to get there, I will be there. Until such time, I'm going to enjoy where I'm at. Because what I'm not going to do is stress every day because I'm not yet where I'm at. And I'm not going to let some other dude or female who maybe gotten there a little bit faster shit on me because I'm not moving as fast as them or shit on me because I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the way I, I choose to do things and the way you choose to do things may be different, and that's just what it is. It's just different. It isn't better. It isn't worse. It's just different. And if people can't wrap their small little minds around that, then that's on them. Period. So to all the rookies coming in into trucking, I hope you see this video. I hope this video reaches you because this is one of the things that you're going to experience a lot, especially if you go drive for a mega carrier. Oh, man, you work for them? Oh, you're only getting paid 35 cents a mile. Oh, man, I do this, this, and this. Oh, yeah, that's cool and all. You make that or you're home this much, but I do this, this, and this. You know what I would tell them if I were you? I don't give a fuck. Period. Nigga, I just got my CDL and got in a truck and changed my family life. You think I give a fuck? Because, man, look. <laughs> Y'all got the game fucked up, man. Niggas really got the game fucked up. I, when did being successful turn into a fucking competition? Do you really think uh, 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 successful people and, and, and wealthy people are, are like, oh, well, I made a million more than you did. Who gives a fuck? We're millionaires. We're wealthy. We own Fortune 500 businesses. Who cares? Friendly competition is one thing, but to really try to downplay someone else's situation, that shit whack, man. That shit is whack, man. That's some poor people shit. That's some shit that, that, that the system makes you feel like you have to do to make yourself feel better. So we tear each other down and keep each other down so we never really become wealthy. Because wealth is a state of mind, in my opinion. You can have all the money in the world and have a poor mindset, and you still broke. A true wealthy person know not to not to look down on the next man unless he's reaching back to help him up, giving him some jewels. But all this standing over top of people like you this, you that, because you just bought a truck, or you or you or you got this, you got that, you got this. Oh, oh, I'm an owner operator now, so I'm gonna shit on company drivers. And and I, I fell into that. I did that shit. I'd be the first one to tell you. And I'd be the second one to tell you that shit was stupid as fuck. Made a little bit more money. I started shitting on everybody back at the crib. Instead of showing them the jewels, instead of showing them how to change their life, I just decided to shit on them. Dumbest shit I ever did in my life, man. And life quickly humbled me. 
So for all you that's choosing to look down on people and, and, and speak ill on them, please believe your humbleness is right around the corner. And it's coming, goddammit, and you'll never see it coming. Believe that shit. But like I said, man, to my rookies, do your thing. If you got your CDL, don't let nobody make you feel bad because you make a decision they don't agree with. You are you are taking one step closer to changing your family life. You're taking one step closer to building wealth. You're taking one step closer to the, uh, uh, separating yourself from the mediocre life that you probably come from. Period. So congratulations to you. And again, remember the number one rule, man. Stay in your lane. Stay in your motherfucking lane. Don't worry about the next man. Don't worry about his lane. Don't worry about how fast he's going. Don't worry about how slow he's going. As long as you good, safe, and good in your lane, fuck him. That's what I got to say.